Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make my Flirt Alert Afghan. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, how to make the double crochet stitch, the double crochet V stitch, and be familiar with the Snapdragon stitch. I have videos on all of those and I will have them listed down below. Starting from the very beginning, you're going to make chains in the multiple of 8 plus 5 for how wide you want your blanket. I'm going to make 157 chains for my example blanket. So like I said, you would make chains in the multiple of 8 plus 5 for how wide you want your blanket and I made 157 chains for my example blanket. To start row 1, make 1 double crochet into the 5th chain from your hook. We're now going to start our sequence. Skip 3 chains and then into this next one make 5 double crochet. Skip three chains and to this next one make a double crochet V stitch. So that's going to be a double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet all into the same chain. So we have skip three chains into the next one, five double crochet, skip three chains into the next one, a double crochet V stitch. Now we're going to start repeating this. Skip three chains into this next one, make five double crochet. Skip three chains into this next one, a double crochet V stitch. Skip three chains into this next one, make five double crochet. Skip three chains into this next one, make a double crochet V stitch. Now you're going to start repeating this sequence. Skip three chains, make five double crochet into the next one. Skip three chains, make a double crochet V stitch into the next one until you reach the end of this row.
when you get to the end of your row and you only have four chains left, skip those three chains like we had been doing and into that last chain work that double crochet V stitch into the last chain of this row to complete. And that's how row one is looking. To start row two, make three chains. So in our last row, we ended on a double crochet V stitch. So a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. You're going to make two double crochet into this chain space or the chain space in this double crochet V. So that's one and two. So with those three chains, that's going to count as three double crochet, which is going to be part of these previous shell stitches. So we're going to be working the opposite stitches into the stitches we established in our first row. So we're starting with that half a shell. Now we're moving over to this previous shell right here and into that middle stitch of that shell, you're going to make a double crochet V stitch. So double crochet, chain one and double crochet. Then we're going to move on to this next double crochet V stitch. We're going to make a shell just like these here. So you're going to make five double crochet into this chain space or this previous double crochet V. Into the middle double crochet of this next shell of five, you're going to make a double crochet V, which is a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Now into this next double crochet V from our last row, you're going to make five double crochet into that stitch or space. So you can see now that we're just making the opposite stitches that we made on our last row. So this is a double crochet V, shell, V, shell. We started with half a shell, then V, shell, V, shell. So we're going to continue to make these opposite stitches, a double crochet V into the middle stitch of a previous shell of five double crochet and then five double crochet or a five double crochet shell into any previous double crochet V stitches across until we reach the last double crochet V stitch of this row.
when you get to the end of your row and you only have a double crochet V left, it's going to be a double crochet and some chains that make up that double crochet V. You're going to work three double crochet into this double crochet V space. So that's one, two, and three. And those three double crochet are going to match the three double crochet we made at the beginning of this row. And that's how row two is looking. To start row three, make four chains. Row three is going to be similar to row one where we're making the same stitches. So we're going to start with a double crochet V, then we're going to go to the shell, V, shell. We're still going to be alternating between those stitches like we had been doing. So these four chains count as a double crochet plus a chain. So a double crochet would be three chains and then a chain for that chain space in a double crochet V. So into the first stitch of your row, make that double crochet to complete that double crochet V. And then we're gonna move to the next double crochet V from our last row. And we're gonna start working our sequence again. We're gonna make five double crochet into this stitch or the chain space of this stitch. Into the middle double crochet of this next shell, you're gonna make a double crochet V, so that's a double crochet chain one and double crochet. Into this next double crochet V, you're gonna make five double crochet for that double crochet shell. Into the middle double crochet of this next shell, you're going to make a double crochet V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Into this next double crochet V, you're going to make five double crochet for that shell. So you can see how this row started differently, but it's basically the same as the last row. We're just alternating the stitches into the opposite ones. So we started with that double crochet V, shell, V, shell, V, shell. And we're going to continue to alternate between these stitches until we reach the last three stitches of this row.
When you get to the end of your row and you have three stitches left, remember these chains did count as a double crochet, so technically this is going to be three double crochet. You're going to skip two stitches and then into that last stitch or those chains, you're going to make a double crochet V. So a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet to complete this row. And that's how row three is looking. You would now alternate between rows two and three for however long you want your project. I'm going to continue on and come back when my blanket is complete. So this is how my blanket turned out. I ended up making 74 rows total, and I always make my blankets into throw sizes, so about 55 inches by 60 inches. And that is going to be how to make my flirt alert afghan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at Crochet Me Lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.